Okay. Looks like we're uh, we're ready to go. Let me see here. First, I got to put on my earphones, and I want to look and make sure we're on. Okay, I do that every week at this time. Uh, let me see here. Uh, that should be. Uh, are we on? Yeah, we're on. There we go. See, you can see me. We got three people watching us right now. <laughs> Oh boy, and we got a whole bunch of people waiting for us uh, to talk to us on Zoom. This is a very simple show we do. This is cut and paste. I don't have any fancy openings or anything like that. And then we just go to a bunch of really, really nice people, a whole bunch of which are, oh God, we've got a ton of them. Well, let's admit them all and see who they are, see who joins us on our little gathering here today. Oh, look at that already. My God. Hello, everybody. How are you? Hollywood Squares already off the bat. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. So, that's good. That's terrific. Let me get a throat loss and cheer. I've been having a little tickle in my throat for days. I think there's something. The sound effect of fire. <laughs> that's what we used to do. I hope you don't mind. I'm going to play a little poker while we're meeting. I always hate packages like that because it's <laughs> if, I, that I needed, if I decided that I needed a, a, a lozenge or something and it's in the bedroom while Marjorie is sleeping, mm. I have hell to pay. Okay? It's terrible. Yeah. Uh, but Am I the only one that can't eat chips with my wife around? With your wife around? I mean... Uh, she hears the crunching and it drives her absolutely up the wall. Yeah, pretzels for my wife. <laughs> really? Yep. Well, divorce her. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you tell her that when she gets home. <laughs> oh, we got Jeffrey Stein here. We got my friend. How you doing? We got uh, Mike Chisholm. We got Steve Bender. We got Scott Boddicker. We, he uh, he finds it fine to call this program. Uh, Len LaFrisco, how are you? Brian Neary and Andrew Deutsch, how are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? Welcome to Inauguration Week. <laughs> but we still have two more days he could probably end the war with the world if he wanted to so you know yeah. uh, well i've been busy all day selling <laughs> pardons using Bitcoin. I, I, oh, I, I, I added a new look i call trump wishful thinking oops wrong button uh, uh, the trump wishful thinking uh, uh, you've been warm, probably been working on this all week haven't you andrew no oh, okay about five minutes ago <laughs> I like to know what equipment you're using because you're doing better stuff than I can do. Of course, yeah, I'm we're, we're, we're launching a course actually February 1st. People really? Learn, learn how to use it in their Zoom. How much meeting. is it going to cost me? You? Yeah. No. You mean no. I get it for free? You, I yeah, absolutely. You know, I used to get a lot of things for free. I'll even give you an affiliate link and you turn somebody on to it and we'll pay you. Oh, okay. They click, they click on your link and sign up and you'll get paid. What is Marjorie wearing that hat? For. It's your hat. It's my it's her inauguration hat. It, it is. You don't want to see my hair today. <laughs> I got to tell you, Alex, I saw the greatest post in the history of Facebook today. What? 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 Well, someone decided to post that uh, they took it down before I could get a screenshot of it because I made such fun of it. The that why would we want a vice president who's such a quitter? She couldn't even finish her term as a senator. <laughs> Well, you could say that's true of Obama. It's true of anybody. You, you, it's it's like, you know, I just got an offer as a CEO, so I quit my other job. Boy, am I a quitter. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Was this her first uh, term as senator? Yes, yes. Oh. Wow. Wow. Well, yeah, you're right. Quitter. Well, Obama, too. Obama, too. Obama uh, only did two quitter. years. Obama only did two years. <laughs> so. Yeah. I love I, I love seeing today. Uh, I saw Ted Cruz and Ivanka Trump and Lindsey Graham all tweeting Martin Luther King <laughs> quotations. It just seems yeah, they should all rot in hell. Utterly you know, ridiculous. I don't know. Am I the only one? But uh, I was never a big fan of Martin Luther King. Yeah, you're the only one. You're no, the really, only. And I'll tell you why. I, I always felt that he compromised with the white guy. 
ask you know okay. something in order to get stuff ha to, to happen you have to have compromise you have to be open and you have to work from yeah within. but that doesn't mean i have to admire him for doing it i liked i was a big fan of malcolm x well, and, hey, hey, let's riot on the street martin changed and got closer to malcolm vietnam <laughs> radicalized martin more well, yeah, Vietnam. Yeah, but uh, he he was he was just always cozying up to the white guys. You know, he was always trying to pacify the whites as well as blacks. And I like the fact that Malcolm said, "There's no nonsense here. We're being treated badly." You know, fuck you. And I I appreciated that. I really did. And I I often felt that his birthday should be celebrated, or there should be some kind of holiday for him. Oh, oh, they should name a street at. Oh, wait a minute, they did. They have. Uh, <laughs> they always put that street in the Clayton Powell. What did you say? Oh. Yeah, and then oh, no, they also the named the street after Adam Clayton Powell. I live on Adam Clayton Powell Jr. Boulevard. Try writing that on your letters, okay? Oh. Um, you just put down Seventh Avenue. Fuck them, you know. And the <laughs> fact is that I hate being on a street name for him because Adam Clayton Powell Jr. was a crook. A criminal. Yeah, absolutely. Go watch. Alex, what about go what watch about Godfather of Harlem? What? What about your uh, opinion between Malcolm X and Louis Farrakhan? Because I know you're pretty educated on that too. Well, I interviewed Farrakhan, and yeah. I don't know. I I found I found Farrakhan. If you if you don't if you don't attack him, if he feels he's not being attacked will open up and say everything he wants to say, and he doesn't doesn't sugarcoat it or anything else. But he he uh, um, I found him to be intelligent. I found him to be uh, uh, to make a very good case. Uh, the problem is he he doesn't again. He is not somebody who pacifies the whites, and he's gotten a little more ridiculous over the years. You know that's been his problem. Back when I interviewed him. He still was reasonable. Now, here's one for Shecky. Yeah. Ready, Shecky? He was a violinist. Did you know that? Louis Farrakhan? I believe I have read that, and he was in some orchestra. Uh, yeah, or a great big, radio, big, big somebody. radio orchestra with a game show. Does that is that any hint for you? Stop the music? No. Horace Height. Horace Heights, he was with Horace Heights Orchestra, and uh, he used to play the violin there. He's also a calypso singer, and that got popular. And that didn't, what work, do you out know? and that didn't work out for him, so he that became black out. radical. You know, I mean, I don't understand it. But. <laughs> yeah, well, but yeah. Could he dance saw, like this? Donald's going to pardon Little Wayne Is tomorrow. he? Is he? <laughs> Why? For a couple well, thousand dollars. Was caught with a loaded handgun on an airplane. Wow. And, and he's going to pardon him for what reason? He's been because selling he can. Because, because he, he can. Because he can. Yeah. Well, uh, do we but have Little any... Wayne supported him for the presidential campaign. Oh, jeez almighty. <laughs> oh, God. So uh, uh, who do you wait on tomorrow? Where do you see the list again? Maybe I'm going to be wrong. I'm wait sure, and people people are paying his people for the pardons. Right. Well, I said Bitcoin. a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, how about uh, you think he's going to pardon any of the rioters at the Capitol? I I have a bad feeling that's what he's going to do. He's collecting the names and he's going to going to pardon them. If he does that. <laughs> It'll almost guarantee that his own party will he'll, he'll get we'll get more than seventeen votes for the impeachment. Yeah. <laughs> really, almost want him to do it for that reason. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think yeah. he's going to pardon Kim Jong Un too. <laughs> I, I think he's going to pardon uh, Ivanka and Jared and uh, and himself. They're saying and, he's and, not but those are presumptive pardons because they haven't yeah. been charged with any crimes yet. They're, they're, they're but, you do, but you can do are. presumptive pardons, so. though. I mean, we can we, you? I mean, we, I guess you yes. can. We gave uh, uh, Gerald Nixon. Uh, did a Nixon, Nixon got a pardon. In, in all seriousness, Alex, I think he's going to pardon the Hamburglar. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm still thinking on Wednesday when he's going to get this military send off and he put his. No, they in. said no. They not said no, no ban and no 21 gun salute. Yeah. As, long as, aiming, as long as they're aiming the right way, I'm all for them. <laughs> It'd be funny if they were doing the inauguration and all of a sudden you hear the 21 gun salute oh, and everybody. everybody <laughs> by, by the way, Dominion Voting Machines is suing the my pillow guy. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It, really? Yeah, it was. In, I saw a news flash on it about five minutes ago, ten minutes ago. The Dominion <laughs> is filing a suit against that against him. You know, all my, his pillows. <laughs> uh, the my pillow guy Crazy. is considering running for senator in Ohio. Jesus. No, governor of Minnesota. Governor of Minnesota. Excuse Minnesota. me. Yeah. Oh, what's that's the, okay. Ventura did it. Ventura, right? Well, the, uh, yeah, Jesse did it. So if he could do it, so can a guy selling pillows. He doesn't so say. Did Arnold. Did. Arnold did it too. Yeah, but Arnold actually had fans. Yeah, but Arnold also won a very easy race to win because you may remember. Oh yeah. They threw, they threw out the governor. They voted the governor out. Yeah, that's a great so they had another election, but in <clears throat> this one, anybody who wanted to run could run. Okay, and the person who it wasn't like who uh, who got the majority or anything like that. It's whoever got the most votes won. So you had a you had a porn star running. You had all kinds of people running, and you, I think you had Gary Coleman. I think was running. Oh, yeah. 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 Right yeah, yeah, yeah. And and it, I guess it was just that you know Arnold was the best known person of the bunch, and so there. Gary Coleman won. was Gary Coleman was short on votes. <laughs> what are you talking about, Brian? Because he was on the team. Somebody had to say it. Yeah, I couldn't help it. Yeah. Did you hear Arnold's uh, speech last week after the the riot at the Capitol? It was yeah, good. video. It yeah. was good. It was good. very good. Yeah. yeah, it was very good. Uh, he even kind of admitted his father was a Nazi. Right. Yeah. He com he compared. Oh, really? Well, he he and a said, drunk. He said and that drunk. when when people came home from he saw what happened when people came home from the war. And how depressed they were, and that they would go out and get, come home drunk every night. Yeah. Sometimes they'd even beat their wives, you know. And he said it really affected my father horribly. Yeah. Um, and I, uh, I, I really thought it was a, a, a pretty amazing speech. I mean, I think he learned something from being married to a Kennedy. You know. So, <laughs> so. No, it was a great speech. But anyway, so so tomorrow. Mar not tomorrow, uh, Wednesday, Marjorie and I are going over to our local school here. Hopefully, keep your fingers crossed. Where we voted a few months ago, and, and now voting. hopefully we're going to get the, um, COVID, the shot. COVID shot, and Shecky gets his the day afterwards. If, if they still have it. If, if they still left. have it, that's the <clears throat> question. Yeah, if Tony hasn't used up all of it. Or bought at least 10 of them so we could resell them. Now, we, lo we love Tony, and we feel sorry that his mother died, but I want to know how he got ahead of me on the list. Yeah, well, me too. He was still a health care worker. He was still about a health care worker. No, he wasn't. His mother was dead. But he's still certified. Brother. He's still certified. He's still ready. Yeah. Oh, boy. Well, anyway. He may be getting a new mother. <laughs> 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 Actually, you can come over and take care of Marjorie and I. Well, I told you he retired from the healthcare industry now. Oh, did he really? Right after he got the shot, huh? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, comic book seller. No, because our 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 mayor, I guess, said that we were going to run out of uh, vaccine this week. Well, first of all, they lowered the age, and they didn't give New York State vaccines. Yeah. So, I mean, how do you like that? Screw that. You know? I don't like it. No, it's terrible. So, well, did you see yesterday they opened one center at the Abyssinian Baptist Church mm -hmm. because Black people can't get it. But wait a minute. Black people are getting it where you're getting it. Right. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, they, they and get And then they it. had the news report where these people are like, well, I need my um, vaccine, but I can't get it, you know, and that's horrible. You know, I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I, I, but well, it is true that the CDC lowered the age 
and said pre pre existing conditions. So where are we? You know, it's like it's a total lack of leadership as usual. Okay. Why did they lower the? Did they say why they lowered the age? You're on the what, list what as they like, pre. What did Brian say? The CDC lowered the age, and also they added him. Uh, uh, what do you call preconditions or whatever? And smoking is one and of them. Smoking is one of them. Oh my God. And they didn't give the states enough vaccine to cover that. Yeah, they raised, what? they lowered the age. They Why? But they, they lowered the age. At the same time, they were lowering the amounts they were sending the states. How exactly. stupid did they is say that? They're, why did they say they're lowering the age? <clears throat> did they say why? Yes, yeah, so everybody can get a shot. No. And then, and then, here's the best part: our governor, right, and oh, I have to say our mayor as well, are opening up all these vaccination sites. Oh, we opened up 20 more vaccination sites today. And then the next part of the governor's speech is about how they aren't sending him any vaccine. <laughs> well, why are you opening up vaccine sites, more vaccine sites, for more people to try and get it when it isn't going to be available? These guys are nuts, you know? I, I well, it it. Said the Abyssinian Baptist Church got 160 doses. How is that helping your community? Well, 160 doses isn't a lot of doses. That's what I mean. Yeah. Oh, oh you're saying they didn't give them enough. I'm saying 160 men or women are able to get injected on in Harlem. Yeah. I However, I don't get we do have a Harlem hospital here, and it was on uh, on his list of hospitals that had the lowest amount of doctors willing to take the vaccine. And nurses and, and health care. Yeah, uh, which leads, you know, and I still, you know, I still question, you know, why Blacks seem so resistant to the vaccine. Because of the thing in Tuskegee and just yeah. the PR but on this it. This isn't like Tuskegee because I'm taking it too. It's, it's yeah, just... it doesn't matter. The PR on it over the years is. It's, it's because the media keeps saying they don't think black people are going to take it. And, right. and then they it, don't. And then they don't because the, the, the scandal was created before they knew there was a scandal. There's a lot of historical mistrust that is. Oh, no, I agree that with that. Bad. I agree with that mistrust, but it would be mistrust if they were saying, Hey, listen, we're we're uh, we're vaccinating black black people first. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then you could be worried, but no, <clears throat> the president is taking not the president, the new the president elect takes it in his arm, uh, the other one takes it in his ass. But anyway, uh, <laughs> no, he takes it. He takes it. In his, you know. So I mean, that has to be a message to everybody that this this isn't like some Tuskegee experiment. Oh. Although it might be on a rather larger scale, for all we know. You know, this has only been released for compassionate use, right, Brian? Do you know about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just like our test. Our test is still for um, emergency use only. Oh, emergency. So, but we, we, have, they have, we have so much time to actually get our, all of our studies together, and then they'll, they'll release it to oh, the here. product. Just like flu, the uh, swine flu, everything. This is his test. Right, this is what a company has become a big company for. It's a testing unit for uh, COVID. It's pretty good, pretty good. But the point is that uh, that you know, um, I mean, uh, they might run out before I go to get it. Well, we'll know on Wednesday yeah. at one ten. I'm sure they're going to say every. Oh, by the way, uh, Mr. Schwarzman, we can't let you in. You're the last one. Nobody got it. Nobody can get it before the, uh, after you or whatever. Next is April. Next is and no. Next is uh, oh 2026. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you mine. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, I tell you, uh, um, uh, who's not here is Kevin, but he took his mother over to get her shot, and yeah. she said this is in California said it was so easy it was yeah. just, he it just flowed it was like a, a well-oiled assembly line and so why california can do it but new york can't is beyond me I have, charlie's not here too i have future yeah. friends i went i went to the javits center and they said it was pretty smooth yeah who went to the javits center you went no some teachers friends of mine that are getting it because they're teachers um they Did got Weekend. Did they have to sign up before? I think so, yeah. Well, you got one for Javits, didn't you, Rick? And, but it was like for March. 
Yeah, I haven't canceled it yet in case Thursday gets canceled. Yeah. Although Thursday gets canceled, they'll probably like get a hold of you Monday and say, now we got some more in, you're next in line. Okay. Well, you know. I'm not canceling until right. I get the jab. But Javits, uh, you got one of Javits, but it was like March 26th. I mean, March 8th, I think it was. I think I'm scheduled. 8th, but well, you. Alex, Alex, if, if this Wednesday at 110 doesn't work out for us, and we have to sign up again. It's going to be March or April. Uh, Easily. You're confusing me, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> well, I told you, the only good thing about the Javits Center is I was going to go visit. I invited you over. Huh? What did you say to Shecky? No, I said I was going to go visit the new train center, you know, station after getting the thing at the Javits if I went there. Yeah. It's supposed to be gorgeous, yeah. It's the old yeah, post office. But, but he then went, you then went to the city. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, site. this was a state site, all right. You went. Well, to how do we get ours? Was ours to the city? City, yeah. It's only like five minutes from my house, so I don't know. So he I found it about five minutes from his house. It's going to be Thursday, day after uh, after we got ours. And ours is five minutes from the house. Yeah. yeah. So you know, why should we go to Javits Center? Meanwhile, there's some story that our governor, who we're starting to slowly hate rather than like. Uh, um, decided that uh, it w what happened was Mount Sinai Hospital put a thing up saying, hey, sign up. We'll make an appointment for you to come get your vaccine. They had to cancel everybody because they didn't have any vac vaccine or they ran out of vaccine or they did, just didn't get any. Didn't get it. And then when somebody from Channel 2 called up to find out what happened, they said, well, we were supposed to get a whole shipment but the governor diverted it to Javits. Javits. Now, the reason you would maybe send it to Javits is because politically, that's your favorite place, you know? Well, um, I told you, it makes for good TV. Yeah. Right? yeah. Uh, Javits, hey, 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 Tony. Hey, field will have it, and Yankee Stadium will have it, because it's going to look good on TV Yeah, that we're going to Yankee stadium to get our shot well, why do you want to put places that many if you don't have enough vaccine because tony used it all up <laughs> i took it i was still i put down caretaker still alex i have to admit it i my mother wanted me to get it i had to take it yeah but I, how did you get it how did you well, get well actually for me i'm I was, an old the company I'm still who's gonna die right? well you know what happened the company i'm still working for to the end of the month mm -hmm. they said you can take it if you want i said well i'm taking it i said I'm not gonna. How I'm did not your gonna. brother get it, Tony? You know why? He's a city worker. So if you're a city worker, they get access to it. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do nothing about it. I'm sorry. Nice. I mean, I can put your name on it. I can make sure you get it. I mean, you're gonna get it Thursday. I can tell I you. I mean, that. We're, we're very sorry about the death of your mother, by the way. I know. But on the other hand, fuck you. I'm uh, right. You're gonna get it Thursday. Believe me, you're getting Wednesday, it. Wednesday. Wednesday. You're Wednesday. You're gonna be good. Wednesday. You're gonna be good. I promise you. Be good. Yeah. Who's uh, Timothy Albright? Tim Albright, would you please let us see your whole face rather than give us the Kilroy was here look? I'm sorry about that, Marjorie. He's, he's still got his forehead. You can see your forehead. Grow up. Now, now he your, thinks it's uh, an exam for Now he's we ready to check his face. There we Tony, go. That's better. Yeah. Turn your camera. Turn your camera. Like that? Oh, like this. I thought he was. Oh. Trying, to do a, trying to do a consult to see if he needed no, both. Yours, I'm in the porch, really. No, yours okay. doesn't. Yours no, doesn't. Go, back. Go, go back. Go back. The other way, Tony. You know who's good? Hey, Alex, Try sorry, it the other way, Tony. Try turning oh. it the other way. No, the other way. The other way. I got to tell you something funny, Alex. The other the way. Other way. Tony, Tony. Tony. Oh. The other way. <laughs> okay. The other way. The other, Turn other way. Like this? The other way. Now the other One more. way. Other oh, direction. No. Other direction. Which way? This way? Like that? There you go. Keep going. Well, I feel like I'm holding. Turn, turn it upside down. Go upside down. <laughs> One more. One <laughs> more. <laughs> there we go. More like oh, it. Oh, that's fine. That's <laughs> fine, Tony. Upside down is fine. <laughs> you, I got something. Can I say something? Funny I don't want to hear wig? it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My mother saved us three grand. We didn't have to take them out to lunch, the cheap bastards. Because nothing was open. My uncle's like, we going anywhere? I said, I'm going home. I don't know where the fuck you're going. Is, it, is this your uncle who had you boxing hats? Yeah. He thought we were getting a lunch. There's no place open in Queens. 
Yeah. He didn't say oh. something like, now you don't have a job anymore, Tony. You want to come back and box? Him? Yeah, he says, would you like me to work for you? Yeah, I'm, I'm not running his fucking place, cheapo. He <laughs> wants you to run it? I ran the whole back. That's the only reason why he made half his money, and he knows that. And what did he pay you? Yeah, not enough. I want a part of the business. But were, that you getting more money, were you getting more money taking care of your mother than you were from them? Probably. No, no, I wasn't. <laughs> huh? But I'm not making this guy rich. That I can tell. He has enough money. Yeah. Oh boy, there must be some problems. There's bad blood there, Alex. I, no, no. If shit. my grandfather was alive, I'd have part of that business. And yeah. he knows that. Yeah. So anyway, but that's another thing. Yeah. So anyway. Um, yeah. So, uh, uh, Shaki, did you watch Batwoman? Oh. No, I haven't watched it yet. Oh, no. Okay. Well, let me know what you think when you do. I finished well, Titans. I did Titans. The two seasons, oh, really good. Titans is very good. Yeah, and they're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna start Don Don uh, Doom, Doom Patrol. Patrol. Doom Patrol today. Yeah, you. I think you'll like that too. Very yeah. good. That's my thing. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, our kids love it. She loves it, and I like it. So it's really good. Yeah, well, a little a little bit of a little bit of uh, swearing, but not like they haven't heard it before. Well, I got Marjorie into Pennyworth, and she went crazy. Oh, that's good. She loves. I it. love it. Love it. You like it? It's good. Yeah. And it's coming back on. Oh, March by the 7th. way, Shecky, on this, I want no spoilers, but on this new Batwoman, do you know who the, one of the newest characters is? I think I heard Robin or something. No, Alfred's. Uh, I think it's her first name is Julia, and her last name is Pennyworth. She's Alfred's daughter. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, she was in the comic books. Yeah, but we've got too many Pennyworths out there now. <laughs> you know, this should like be a one Pennyworth limit. <laughs> yeah, Gotham, we had Alfred Pennyworth. Uh, all the Batmans we had now were Pennyworth. Now it's a, a down to the daughter, Jul Julia Pennyworth. I want to know when he had time to have a daughter. He was so busy taking care of the yeah. women. Was Barbara the girlfriend that he had the daughter with? No. No. Oh, no, no. Oh, Barbara? No. I don't. Who knows? Who, who, wait a minute. You read the comic books. Who did, who did Alfred have a daughter by? Well, that I don't know. I know Catwoman uh, back up, broke up back by Bane. I think he broke up back in one of the old issues. That's in the nineties. Okay, well, but yeah. I didn't have. I stopped reading, so I bits and pieces. Yeah. Checky might know that. I don't know that. No, I have no idea. But you I know what the hot book is? The new future Batman series coming out. Out, uh, Checky. That first, the first appearance of uh, the how future of, of Batman. You, how many of those are you going to buy, Tony? Actually, that was in 1980. I got lucky. I got three copies. CGC 9.6 and a 9.8. The 9.8, I could sell for 1500 right now, but I'm holding off. It's in my private collection. <laughs> I heard from Shecky, and I may be, may, be, may be wrong, so correct me if I'm wrong, and then we're going to get on to other stuff, Tony. Please. That, uh, that on, uh, on, on uh, eBay. On eBay, you're going to be selling a hundred thousand dollars worth of comic books. No, I don't. I didn't sell it, but I have over a hundred thousand combined on two sites. That are for sale. Yeah. Didn't didn't Batgirl get get purchases at wet wet market in Wuhan? <laughs> Got me. Trump killed my mother, Alex. That's all I know. Still, I can't believe it. I'm still going to wish death on this guy, Alex. Well, well, how do you figure he killed your mother? It's the whole freaking. I blame COVID on him. I hate to sound bitter, yeah. but. Yeah, absolutely. Well, well, you're, you're not wrong. I'm trying to laugh about it. But well, I think it's yeah, well, Tony, totally not to rub it in, but he's he's here celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> he dances like a drunk white guy too. Come on. It's going to be interesting. Yeah. To see, on the it's going to be interesting to see who he pardons tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. As they. Yeah. Who, 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 who do the you? The list think? is long. The the list is right. long. Well, they're I mean, saying hundreds. They're saying over a hundred. Wow. Wow. A hundred dollars, a hundred thousand dollars worth of pardons. Isn't he gonna throw uh, more than that? He's gonna make millions. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe what we got ourselves into in this I, country. Alex, cool. I was gonna ask you a favor. What? Uh oh. How, how do you and Marjorie feel about an Italian guy cooking for you three times a week? <laughs> 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 I know my mother's recipes. I can get you spat real quick. Really? Well, Mark yeah, also do has some medical problems, so maybe you can... Yeah. You may not die from COVID, but you may get pasta ingestion. <laughs> your your recipes start with defrost and put in the oven at 350. You know what I'll do? I'm not making the light of the death. I'm not making light of the death of your mother, but your track record isn't very good. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> 
Are you, you going to pay them? Are you going to pay them now too? <laughs> you I don't pay know them? anybody who comes in contact with me. They pay, they got much to live. I don't know. But his sister could come over and give you a. Oh yeah, you know we always we, we always on our nighttime program have Charlie be uh, Doctor Doom, and he's the oh, harbinger of, of 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 negative statistics. And uh, so I thought I would ask him because I think today is pretty much. Uh, well, we're going to pass four hundred thousand oh, deaths today. Yeah, That's a yeah. lot. <laughs> I thought we passed it. No, nope. yeah, we did. Probably did over the weekend, but I won't yeah. get the numbers until seven o'clock tonight. We're <laughs> number one. We're number one. Number one. <laughs> You're going to be sore, Marjorie, from the shot. And I told Al, uh, Shecky this. My arm I don't is give so a sore. Shit. Let me get the shot first. Listen, you, you're, you're going to get it. Look, look. I'm not going to get it till April. You guys are lucky. <laughs> me Come too. Soon. We get it for you. Tony. Stay by Tony. me. Uh, yeah. So if we're number one, are you full of number two? Is that what? <laughs> I'm getting the shot too in one of the four weeks. 29 days, Alex. You gotta... I'm getting an aviation check. You just walk right down there. And I'm going to tell you something. I was sitting here in that waiting room for 15 minutes. And you're right. I'm not just saying this. I didn't see many black people, but I saw a lot of old people in wheelchairs and stuff. Oh, well, listen, we're wow. going to see a lot of old people. That's what I was thinking, Marjorie. We well, we're go in a over black there, neighborhood. We're going to see a lot it's of gonna be, too. you know, It's going to be lots of walkers. You know? Yeah, I, I was kind of nice seeing him getting the shot. Yeah. Okay, hold it, Tony. Just calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, you, Alex, it'll be like a trip to the barber shop. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, it's it's like, um, uh, the, and we can only go five minutes beforehand. They will not let us in. I would five minutes go before. earlier. I wouldn't huh? listen to that. Yeah, yeah I, I would got go earlier, Alex. And they wheeled you right in. We we'll go there about ten minutes early. Yeah, uh, maybe fifteen. Why? Why not? But yeah, she's right there. there. Or We're going to have to just stand right outside. They will not let us in. I don't care. I don't care. We did it for early voting. Uh, I, uh, yeah, but, I mean, you always say to me, we, we got to get some place early. We got to get some place on time. Well, so it's a block away. When should we leave? Oh, about an hour beforehand. <laughs> you never know. I would do that. That's I would do it. Playing at, what was mine? 3.50? I'm going to leave the house at 3 o'clock. 3.50? Yeah, but uh, yeah. Okay. But I'll it, meet you there, Alex. Yeah, go much well, early. The letter they, they send down <laughs> says, do not go down early because we won't let you in. That's you I don't believe that fine. person. I hope, it, I, hope, I hope it is five minutes beforehand because if they're doing it that way, they'll have a nice flow and everybody will get And I hope they have the shot. No, you're going to get the shot. You got the barcode. You're going to get the barcode. Once you get that barcode in the way this system set up, that's accounted for that vaccine, my brother. Alice, said. You're getting a barcode. Did you get an email that day? You'll get the email. You're gonna get the email. Get the morning the day up. Up. Your shitty when, when do we get the email, Tony? Uh, Wednesday morning, Marjorie. You're gonna. You're, you're set. Your vaccine's coming. The, the people who didn't get it, they weren't accounted for. Like, your vaccine's system. coming, Marjorie. Yeah, I'm, I'm not just saying it, it's coming. Because <laughs> I asked my brother the same thing. Is is when you're doing the system wait, like this? Wait a minute. Is, but one question, for. Tony. How did your brother get the fucking shot? Yeah, how did your brother get the fucking city workers three one one? And he has oh, underlying geez. conditions. He has a heart condition. Well, I have hmm. underlying conditions. So yeah. too. she's married to me. That's her underlying condition. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> uh, how I can push you up there, Mike? Uh, up in Canada, are they giving out the uh, the old COVID shots? Oh. Yeah, the uh, the uh, elderly and and frontline workers are the first ones, and it's uh, it's orderly. I mean, at the end of the day, where I live, um, you know, it's not overblown in any way, shape, or form. That's not diminishing the the, the effects of we're we're in pretty good shape. But yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, I get the luxury of 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 seeing how people's reactions are to it and things. But it's it's been reported on the news that there's been four or five seniors that have gotten the shot and have since gotten COVID. Oh, uh, Jesus Christ. So, so, so that's well, you got to get the second. Yeah, there's, you have to get both shots and still yeah. wait a week or two. Yeah, yeah. But, take, but it takes a week or more. The first shot will give you yeah, about a, lot of people, Canada. Yeah. So there's a lot of people holding their breaths right now. And I think it's the Pfizer shot that we're getting. The Johnson & Johnson one apparently is going to be one. coming out as well. So... Well, it says, uh, it says here in this article I'm reading that in Canada, the dosage was diluted with maple syrup and it caused a problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, well, it makes it go down better. You know, we've always known that. And, and I think another Trump's fault is why is Canada getting our stuff? Yeah. Right? Yeah. 
Is, is that where he's coming from, Mike? Is that you said the Pfizer you're getting? The Pfizer, okay. yeah, the Pfizer, and then there's uh, a second Moderna? one. That I can't remember Moderna? the company. Johnson and Johnson's comes out as well, and I don't know yeah. the difference. Now, do you notice <laughs> that in Canada, Johnson and Johnson's will come out? <laughs> <laughs> It'll come out and they'll store it on the roof. <laughs> Johnson and Johnson is only one shot. One shot. Yeah. Yeah. Is it? And is they it, don't know. Hold on a second. Is it as effective? No, I don't think not quite, but it's effective. No. Yeah. Uh, the, the, you know, the, the old people getting it, they probably got it. You know, when you get your first shot, you're only seventy percent protected. Okay, so five of them getting it within that, you know, that percentage. The second one. Supposedly, it's seventy-five percent. It's ninety-five percent. I think they're going to scare people off telling them they're getting it in the Johnson and Johnson. <laughs> in the Johnson and Johnson. The Johnson. <laughs> Johnson and Johnson. Yeah. Two shots in the Johnson. <laughs> right in the shoulder. It's a good thing there's not a pharmaceutical company called Tallywhacker. We'd all be in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> well, Como said today that he. Uh, wrote a letter to Pfizer because it's in New York State to try to buy independently. Oh, really? There was yeah. that bad batch of Moderna in California, right? Everyone had a bad allergic reactions to it. Oh, real Moderna? Yeah. I think that's, that's what we're getting. getting. There's just one, one lot of it. It was a one ship, one specific lot. I don't know that that is a problem necessarily. No. You know? Um, uh, we're getting the Moderna. That's what I got. Well, they have to be. They can't put it in. Well, no, I said the Pfizer well, one has to be frozen. I something. got it when in, in our thing, mm -hmm. uh, Shecky, you got it too. There's a PDF file, and in that right, PDF Moderna. file, it talks about Moderna. Uh, so we're getting the because Moderna. Johnson and Johnson hasn't been approved in the U.S. yet. I don't believe. That's right. No. And and why why has it been? It's been approved in England. Mm -hmm. right? So has the Oxford Zeneca. Why not just say, well, if you guys did it, we'll do it. Okay. I mean, it's not like they're in, they have any less effective scientists to figure this well, out. Well, because somebody didn't give uh, Mr. Trump enough Bitcoins to approve it. Thank you. Yep. Such a Absolutely. bitch, that Trump. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They say he's so isolated because no one's going to talk to him. <laughs> I can't stand it. I'm still expecting one more final crazy thing on Wednesday. Oh, yeah, yeah, like the, no the five hundred pardons. Well, be the pardons. No, I'm not crazier yeah, than no, that. I mean, I can really? Be lackey in charge of the NSA. Yeah. Right. I heard he's not paying too many bills. He's, he's, talking the, he's talking to the my pillow guy about martial law. Yeah. He's is good. Wow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Tim, are you there? Yes, I had trouble with the audio audio on my phone. I'm on an iPad now. Yeah, but well, now, we don't, see now you. we don't have a picture Emma. on it. Yeah, put your face on. Yeah. You know. I don't have any. I don't have any buttons. Where are the buttons at? Wait a minute. Hold on. Show see. video. Let me. Uh, here. Ask to start oh, wait a minute. Video. I pulled him. There they showed up. Yeah. And. Uh, he, uh, I think Tim uh, is there. You there go. We go. There we go. Well, I'm Thank you. Turn turn sideways. See if that'll again. Turn, turn the go. iPad sideways. Oh, that way. Yeah. Uh, Whoops. It's not an auto rotate. It's not an auto rotate. Just lower it a little bit so that your face. My wife, uses, my wife uses the iPad. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's got her name on it. You can you can change that if you want to. I mean, I'm on can, the iPad. Huh? He's kind of like he, you're kind of yeah. like that. You kind of like you today. You've kind of been like that progressive commercial. Who? Uh, with Which the guy who's trying to, to teach like your people parents? not to be like their parents. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I love the ads. I love it. I love it. Now there's a button on the side to turn the phone Wait. ringer off. Just today yeah. we're gonna do PDF. <laughs> we we did. We did coffee yesterday, coffee and cars. We took our cars in, in the ocean, uh, ocean beach. Yeah. And uh, one guy was backing up and I told the guy, come on, it's my car. Don't worry, you won't hit it. Keep going. And my friend said, my friend turned around and says, you don't know him, walk away. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they say in the commercial. You don't know yep. him, 
<laughs> you don't know him. Yeah. It's it's more fun to do that, Brian, when you're in front of somebody else's car getting them to back. Yeah. No, yeah, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Come, on, come on, you got plenty of room. Plenty of room. Tim over the years has been our political wonk. Am I right about that, Tim? Yeah, pretty much. We've been uh, trying to survive the pandemic out here. Yeah. Yeah. Because I was busy trying to kidnap our governor, so that took up a lot oh. of my time. Yeah, well, well, oh, well wait a minute. Okay. There's an FBI man at the door. I'll be right back. <laughs> well, it's very easy to kidnap them. They move slowly. So, you know, I mean, uh, I mean, oh. talk about bad governors. Man, Charlie well, Wallace has the worst governor in the Oh, country. boy. Oh, God. You know? <laughs> I mean, we, we and the we worst have a senators and the worst senators. and both senators, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hmm. Well, there's we a contest, a, a death match between his and the Florida governor, so they're going to be in a cage match to see who's worse. Really? We, oh, we have passing. Charlie's Angels in Michigan. We <laughs> have a female, a female attorney general, a female secretary of state, and a female governor. Wow. Oh, no, really? And now we have a we're going to have a female vice president, so that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Hey, did I see that uh, Kamala's gonna resign from the Senate today? Yeah, quitter, quitter. she <laughs> doing? <laughs> I saw a post today saying that she's a huge quitter. She can't even finish her term. Yeah, yeah was... <laughs> what, where's Pence at? Why is Pence finishing Trump's term? Yeah, why is Pence finishing Trump's term? Yeah, you never see him anymore. Trump won't resign because he knows Pence would never pardon him after he suck his dogs on him. Well, Pence yeah. has been doing all the presidential yeah. duties lately. Yeah, he's you know. going to the inauguration. Yeah. Absolutely. That's going to be the final surprise. Actually, Trump re he resigned yesterday. He didn't want to tell us and put Pence in charge. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to turn out he hasn't been president for two days. Is he going to be president for four years? <laughs> is, is he going to be pardon? Is he going to pardon the Russian the Russian uh, citizens that were charged by Mueller? Well, Lev Parnas. Yeah, and all the the twelve from the GRV or whatever it is from Russia. Yeah. Uh, if not, he's going to miss out on the apartment he bought in Moscow to live in. Well, you know what's fun about these he's gonna... funny about these pardons is that he could have done them any time during his term. I mean, yeah. you can you can pardon people. That's part of the ability you have. And he, all these guys wait to the last moment. And I think it's because they're unpopular parties. He also executed the most during his presidency. Yeah. He, well, it, it took him two years to negotiate a price for the pardons. Yeah, you're yeah. right. I mean, Obama and I'm not, did, I'm, I'm Obama not kidding. Did Obama did a couple of hundred pardons at the end. Yeah. But they were mostly low-level drug offenders yeah. who could get out of jail. Yeah. yeah. Who knew Giuliani would be pro bono all his life? <laughs> yeah, that's true. His new name is Rube Giuliani. Yeah, no, it's amazing that uh, Giuliani has been working for nothing, but he had to know that. All oh, right, did you hear yeah. that Trump, Trump won't never pay him? pays his bills? Yeah, he won't pay him for his haircuts and shit no more. For his twenty thousand dollars a day <laughs> to do nothing, to sit there and look like a fool. Sound like I, read, a I read an article about the cities that uh, are being stiffed for the rallies too. Yeah, there's irony in that. We we had a rally 50 miles from our house here in Michigan, and we had low levels of COVID until the month after the rally, and it's gone up six to seven times. Well, that's true. Wherever he had a rally, yeah, there were, there was big COVID increases. <laughs> Oh boy! Well, you know, uh, gee, this is the last week that we'll have. Alex, a at least you didn't have a, a rally in New York City. You see what I love yeah, about right. this show yeah. is without Trump, what I love about this show without Trump, we have a show because you guys are all fun. You know, it's just nice. <laughs> Everybody talks to each other. Everybody's. <laughs> are you <laughs> really I'm political <laughs> here? You know, I heard it. I heard a guy on a podcast. He said that uh, he wished that he could go back to the time when a super spreader was just bad porn. <laughs> was Stoney Daniels invited to the going away party? No, I don't think so. I doubt it. She's got a front row seat at the impeachment, though. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited that the late night guys are going to have to work a little bit harder for material now. There's no more low hanging. Well, I mean, like uh, you know, yeah. I'm thinking about canceling the night show because and leaving this one on because this one, we many times never talk about Trump at all. We just have a nice Keep the night show, Alex. Huh? Keep the night show. Why? Keep you busy. Because. Why? Because I might go to bed the same time you do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
And then you'll have to sleep with me all night? God forbid. Yeah, God forbid. <laughs> That's the old style super spreader there, right there. Yeah. <laughs> but, I, uh, I apologize for brought that up. <laughs> I know the, 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 the new theme for the Unite show is we've all been in a war for like three, four years now. Mm -hmm. We've all got PTSD from fighting. When you're in a battle zone and you mm -hmm. come out of it, we're going to need some therapy. Oh, yeah. It, it, no, but I mean, it's going to be, you're, oh, yeah. you know, to begin with, what the hell are the news networks going to talk about? Well, yeah. I think Trump's still going to be news because they're going to impeach him. I think, I think they get a good Trump's going to make himself news. But the, yeah. he's only going to be able to be news if these damn news networks cover him. And they have That's no right. reason to cover him because sans being president, he's not important to us. You know, do, do, do you know, the, I you know about Britain? Say from our standpoint up here, but during the birthing thing about when Obama was uh, his birth certificate, Trump was a huge part of that. Up here, anyway, we he started was. it. He was the main guy. Yeah, but at least Phil Spector cleared up some room for him for his next yeah, house. Yeah, yeah, Phil died. Yeah. yeah. Uh, did you guys hear about Britain? <laughs> he died in COVID. Well, hold on a second. What, what about Britain, Tim? Uh, they don't allow Fox News. They no. keep, they kept it out of their country. <laughs> really? But, yeah. Yeah. So we got to figure out how to do that, and I think we should sue Fox News for all the damage to the Capitol. On January sixth, yeah. I yeah. certainly Hannity. I really certainly Hannity should be sued. I, I Hannity. Would, I wouldn't blame them. I blame Hannity. Yeah, I, I blame wouldn't Hannity. blame them. I'll tell you why. Because in the last couple of um, weeks, last year or so, they have gotten much softer. So much so that Newsmax now beats them in the ratings because they're not. Because the Suns took crowd. over. The Suns took Newsmax over. Newsmax is the group you should go after. I mean, I watch them, and I just. I go, it's like it's like living in another world, you know? I want to see a death match between the two Murdoch bro uh, brothers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Jeff, how you doing up there in uh, Connecticut? Oh, I, I got thrown out of, out of the house today. Why? Oh. What, we had, what a happened? Guy, what, we what? had a guy who came to uh, fix something. Or oh, you gave me the room. Now, why were you kicked out of the house? Well, because Pam doesn't want me to get COVID. Yeah. yeah. So what did he have to go out in 36 degree weather? I would have went out because I wouldn't stay in the house. So what'd you do? Walk around the block? You no, I actually that way. took a car ride. I, I haven't <laughs> driven a car that much in in the Did years. you lice all the room? Lice all the whole room and everything. Probably. Wherever you was at. Well, I have a slight cough today. I just coughed, if you heard. Oh, Alex, stop it. Yeah, but because I'm all, oh, feel congested. But you oh, left that. Uh, it's up, uh, here. Uh, up here. Uh, not down here. I did. <laughs> just I'm so sorry that the worst thing that's going to happen is I'm going to get COVID a day before the <laughs> shot. <laughs> Take the <laughs> shots, though. You'll be all right. You know, or, the, or maybe the day of the shot, I will suddenly get Help COVID. Me. Huh? Our, our, our family got tested for COVID a week ago. Watch this. Watch this. Uh, Echo, announce. Marjorie, do I look fat to you? Marjorie, do I look fat to you? <laughs> I now found out that I can use all the Alexas in my house to say the same thing at the same time. And as it's ECHO. And so now I'm announcing dinner's ready, you know, or she is if she cooks the dinner. Second call. Second call for dinner. You know, maybe we should get one of those things. Do they have they have those things on ships, don't they, Rick? Those little sound things that go off they on do? dinner. Mm -hmm. I guess I actually don't. Isn't there like a ding dong they and really then they do. announce it? Yeah. It, yep. Uh, honestly, I don't know. Oh, okay. Uh, I can let, walk let, down who, when it's time where's for dinner. Music, where's that music coming from? <laughs> we got an ice cream man on my block. It's January. <laughs> <laughs> still. I mean, is there something wrong with this neighborhood? <laughs> Who's getting ice cream at 35 degrees? Well, you know something? <laughs> you know job. something? It's, it's 30, 365 days a year for child molestation. So <laughs> you know. This guy's rolling around at 35 <laughs> degrees. He's rolling middle of January. <laughs> Here, buy an ice cream cone. It's 35 degrees. <laughs> Fuck you. Speaking of music, 75 degrees in uh, San Jose. Yeah, what? Same, same over here, Brian. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's what is it in New York? 
Mm. Are they going to oh, play the five in Austin? <laughs> Are they going to play the Mr. Rogers theme well, for the inauguration? Well, it's 45 in New York. It's 30 here. Here we go. Oh, oh is it 45? No, thanks. Yeah. There you go. No, thanks. Wait a minute. Yeah, it is 45 on my on my watch, too. Heat wave. Yeah. Mm. But, uh, Beautiful anyway. sunny day in Austin. Yeah. Um, oh, my window, it's white. So I, oh, I just want to make it to get that shot before I Whose get Whose window is white? Mine, here. <laughs> where, where, where are you? Oh. Hmm. Out my window. Oh, really? <laughs> that snow? Same, yeah. same in Michigan. Hey, you're where again? I'm right here. Snow? No, no. I mean, you're oh, where? Wow. <laughs> I'm in Cleveland. Cleveland. Really? Oh, wow. They I went to Los Angeles. It's 30 degrees to... and snowing. Really? There are people who still live in Cleveland, Tony. Snow there are? Snow. Yeah. There are. There are. I said, really? I went to school in Cleveland. Did you ever go to Cleveland? We were looking outside Brian Neary's window. He's rubbing it in our face. Wow. Well, 45 nice. degrees. Nice. Uh, Brian, my where wife, are you? my wife left the door open. Oh, she did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, San, San Jose, California. San Jose. That's uh, south of San Francisco, about one hour drive. Oh, it, like and it. now we know the way. <laughs> Wait a minute. I like the dancing Trump, to be honest with you. Uh, him? Yeah. Well, here, here he is. Here he is with his buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. Look at that. He's got a twin. King <laughs> <laughs> Trump. Yeah, have, him dance for, have him dance for Alex right next to him. That'd be good. <laughs> two more days to play that, and then it's not funny anymore. Yeah, really. fact, if we were to be really honest with ourselves, it hasn't been funny all along. So, you know. Hasn't been funny for four years. Yeah. yeah. Um, so um, um, uh, let me see here. Shecky, you been doing anything? Going anywhere? Parties? <laughs> Where am I going to go? <laughs> you know, oh yeah, a lot of parties. What I said to him one day was, you know, how do you how do you like being in the house like this? Like we like I am. He says it's no different than when I'm usually in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yesterday I watched two episodes of China Beach, two episodes of 77 Sunset Strip, mm -hmm. and two football games. Big day. Yeah. Big day. Jeffrey has his hand up. Yeah, yeah. I, Jeff. I got something new. Yeah. All the kids are going to go to college. Oh, wow. house will be What empty. do you mean all your, your, your projects? Yeah, we've got one who's going to college, and actually they're not going to be at home anymore. Okay. Yep, in Massachusetts. Good. And the other one is our friend is a professor, so she's got to go to work. <laughs> mm -hmm. they, wait, wait a minute, I'm trying to think about this. Is, is this because the term is beginning or because they just decided to open the schools up? Because the <clears throat> first season, a lot of the schools didn't have the kids come. Yeah. They'd stay at home and do your work at home. Yeah, but now teach yourself. Now they said, come I mean, to even class. though even though there's more of a problem out there. Yes. Uh, uh, it, oh, it, it maybe maybe safer in the schools. I mean, uh, our our mayor, for all he's worth, said that the kids in, are in school are probably safer than if they're outdoors. They uh, are. My one of my boss's kids is six or seven, and he's back at pri of course private school in New York City. And they have the filtration. They have everything, and he's he's back. So it's probably safer than being outside at home. At at home. home. Yeah. Well, the school across the street from me is closed. Yeah. Well, I mean, Tony is a is a perfect example. I mean, it's horrible. You had to be a perfect yeah. example of of you know your home may be the most dangerous place to be if you're not taking care of things. Because what happened is you had people coming in and out who like your sister. It was only my sister who came over. That was it. Yeah, but she, when she come home, she probably felt, ah, life's good here. This is home. I'm this safe. I grew up. I'll, I yeah. can take off my mask. Didn't wear a mask. And she taught remote. She only went to school like once a week, once in a while. It was that one day she went that Friday. Three days, two days later, Sunday, she got up, Marjorie, and she wasn't feeling good. She called here. She yeah. said, you know, like, no, Monday she called me. She says, I can't get out of bed. I'm tired. 
So and they, she came to my mom Saturday night, and yeah. that so was when they, the day. When they, when they say these things about the, the, the worst places, sometimes the home, they talk about yes. living room spread being 75% of the spread in New York well, State. Well, for small family groups that are getting well, no, together, you also, and they're you not also, wearing coverings. Let's say you're, you're mm -hmm. your sister, and you come home to see your mother, and you go, I'm home. I don't need the mask. And we, she gets tested, too, uh, every other week. Right. Right. But but yeah, I don't need the mask. And the fact is that if, it, uh, uh, you know, Tony and his mother were a bubble and they were safe as long oh, yeah. as they didn't do anything. OK, you then bring somebody into that bubble and you take your you have a risk, even if it's somebody, you know, like his sister. Uh, you and I'll tell you the truth, uh, Alex. Jim, Shecky Jim, can attest to this. Yeah. I only went to visit Shecky. That's the only time I went. And I was leery going. I went. The week after I had my colonoscopy because I took a COVID test. So I knew I was clean. Yeah. Other than that, I never went anywhere. Yeah. Uh, Tim's got his hand up. Yes, uh, Tim. Yeah. A good example of that. My mother-in-law lives the next street over from us. I could see her house. Uh -huh. We did not go there for Thanksgiving with just my daughter, grandkids. But I know they don't wear masks. Uh. So we, we didn't go for, we went for Thanksgiving. Nobody wore masks. So we didn't go at Christmas. However, I have two teenage grandsons living with us because their dad's a restaurant worker. He's been out of work. So we found out he went and spent the day with the other granddaughter. And she became down with COVID. Uh, oh, days ago. Mm. And, oh, she's, and she's pregnant, but she's doing oh. okay. But we had to get we had to get nine of us tested. Yeah. Okay. And then the grandson goes out and visits with the other granddaughter who lives in, down in Flint, mm -hmm. you know, Flint. With the, where they have no water. Yeah. She Bam works water. in a nurse. She makes $18 an hour working 60 hours a week for a nursing home. Wow. So they hung out all evening and he stayed all night. She didn't wear masks the whole time and she works with COVID patients. Jeez. So I banned him from the house for a while. Good. We had, we had nine of us get tested, <clears throat> you know, eight of us. On the website for Walgreens, it says it's $129. However, there's five or six states where they won't ever bill you. That would have cost us $1,000 to get tested. Wow. Did you get the rapid test? It was the rapid, no, it was yeah. not the rapid test. It was the PCR where you put oh, it up okay. your own nose. But that oh, was, then you mail it in. So we all came back negative, but I still don't want them intermixing with the other, our, our no. daughter's and, and you're absolutely right. You're, you're right, yeah, don't correct. chance it. Wait a minute, it was my nose I was supposed to put that thing up? Let's put all this in your so, ear. By the way, I've come up with a new deal. I'm so sick of every time I go on to sites and they go, um, you, need, you need to revise your password. You know, we need a new password. Uh, and, and I'm going to follow all the conventions, uh, but I'm going to do fuck you with a capital F and an asterisk. <laughs> <laughs> just fuck you for all my passwords. I, I can't think of an easier password to remember. You know, that's a great idea. I may do that. Yeah. You know, there's a better convention for that, Alex. Think of a, of a phrase that you use mm -hmm. and grab, like if my your phrase is my dog has fleas, mm -hmm. M-D-H-F, and then a number. So that you'll easily remember the phrase, you'll know your password. My feeling is, is that they should have a thing about, I don't want a password, I'm willing to take the chance. Okay, mm -hmm. because... I'm willing to take the chance because how many times have my password's been compromised anyway? Because some company didn't do have have good enough computers there or something to to prevent it from happening. What was how it? many? I went to this one site where I I bought a graphic. Okay, I actually paid like fifty bucks for it because I wanted it, and uh, uh, so I was a member of that site. That site got hacked. They had two million people. That all got hacked. What? I, you know, you you can't take care of it, so you don't get hacked like that. You know. Hey, Alex. Yeah. How many passwords were on Pelosi's laptop? Do you suppose? <laughs> uh, uh, Her I laptop. I have to. Ask, I have to ask the guy with the horns on. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> but they tried to sell it to the Russians. Yeah. What, what yeah. was he? What was he doing? What was he? Well, thinking when he made that uh, that fashion idea, that statement, you know, <laughs> yeah, you know, put some horns on, go bare breasted, uh, wear chaps. I don't know what it was. He almost looked like the you know the what is it the naked cowboy on Broadway. <laughs> yeah. But, well, he has to wear two pairs of underpants, by the way. And eat only organic prison food. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's double pantsing, isn't it? I guess you don't know a lot of QAnon shamans. How many here, well, how many here when well, you go out double mask? Anybody? Was it the Mormon under, underpants? Marjorie double mask. She had me double mask the other day. That That's the new thing. Yeah. That's yeah. I don't trust thing. anything outside besides yeah, my one in the front and one in the back. Mask. One in the front and one in the back. <laughs> I just wear my scuba gear. Oh, boy. No, it's, it's CYA. Just don't go outside. <laughs> you know, this I is... wear two diapers now. <laughs> <laughs> this gathering is such fun. I really enjoy it. I enjoy having uh, you people around me. Uh, and Marjorie, T Tiffany knows your story about the whole depends at at Costco. So whenever we go around that stupid corner where the snacks are, he always says, do you need any Depends? I say, yeah, thanks. Hey, listen, Alex, Depends. Before we finish, Alex, I got a question for you. Yeah. Uh, a few weeks back, did you get, did you win the auction? Is Gabnet.com yours now? No, no. Oh, Somebody man. else's, and it looks like what happened is GoDaddy outbid me, and they're now trying to sell it for a price. Huh. It's what I, I, I went to gabnet.com and it takes me to GoDaddy. Yeah, somebody you know bought it and put it for sale on there. GoDaddy doesn't do that. Yeah, but I know. For it's it's a troll thing. Somebody saw somebody wanted it and they put it out there. Yeah. For sale. yeah. 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 <laughs> I've been asked to buy my own website back. That I, I heard adult, adult diapers.com is available. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends. Yes, oh, that depends. Yeah. yeah. It, it, I, I got to go. Okay. Listen, go. we all got to go. Great one thank you, uh, Jeff. And thank you to Rick. And thank you to Mike. And thank you to Steve. And thank you to uh, Scott. Uh, and thanks to Lynn LaFrisco uh, and Brian Neary and Marjorie, who? Miller. Yes, Miller. finally. Marjorie Miller and uh, Chuck. <laughs> Charlie Wallace, Chuck Wallace, ladies and gentlemen, Charlie Wallace, <laughs> and uh, Tim Albright. Good having you here, Tim. I'm glad Good everybody's you, doing well. I missed you guys. Anyway, come back. Have a, have a nice night, and uh, thanks everybody for watching us as well. Good Good see Tony. Bye bye. Good okay. <laughs> see you later. And we'll stop the recording too. There we. Go.